previously on Home and Away. You can stay if you want. Can you hold me? I think Alf might have killed Pen Graham. Alf Stewart, you are under arrest for the murder of Pen Graham. You do not have to say or do anything unless you want to, but anything you say or do will be recorded and may be used as evidence. Will, what have you done? I'm pregnant to Pen. Morag, I really appreciate you getting me out, but I won't be getting any rest until I get some justice, even if I have to wring Will Smith's neck to get it. thinking about what you said yesterday and you're right I should have let you go and see dad I guess I was trying to protect you I'm sorry so what about you and Angelo what I saw the way you guys are looking at each other yesterday do you really expect me to believe there's nothing going on I was just feeling vulnerable after the funeral and it just happened. So you used him. It's not fair of you to use him, Charlie. You know that, right? Okay, fine. I used him. But you know what? It felt good. Because for a moment, I could stop thinking about Dad and all the times that I let him down. All the times I was too busy to call and even tell him that I cared. So you can try, Ruby, but I'm not going to feel guilty about Angelo. What? Hey. Hey. Can I come in? Yeah, yeah, I'm just setting up. Yeah, I know you're busy. I just thought that we should talk about last night. I don't know if you feel weird about what happened. I don't feel weird at all. Are you sure? You don't have to do this, Charlie. I know it was a one-off thing. You were worried about your dad, you needed someone, and I was there. OK. I just wanted to check. You need to go easy on yourself, Charlie. Yeah, I know. And I'm not going to take advantage of the fact that you feel as though you need me right now. Oh, I know you wouldn't do that. Uh, I've got to take this. It's a supplier. Of course, yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah. Bob. Mate, thanks for getting back to me. Yep. By the end of it, Charlie and Angela weren't even talking to each other. Then all of a sudden we've moved back in here and then we get this call from Morag saying that Dad's gone downhill. Rubes, I'm so sorry. You know, I really wanted to be here for you. Well, to be honest, I was kind of upset that you couldn't come back for the funeral. Nick, whatever's going on, just tell me. I'm pregnant. What? Since when? And who? Pen? Oh, my gosh. I wanted to tell you. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to tell you so many times, but I had to get it straight in my head first before I could make my decision. What decision is there to make? This shouldn't be happening, Nick. Ruby, I... I expected that from other people, but I thought that you would understand. Well, I'm sorry, but Penn is a bad guy. He hurt a lot of people, and now Mr Stewart's in jail because of him, and you're going to have his child? Are you insane? I should go. Well, she could have stopped it from happening. She could have made a choice. But Nicole did make a choice. And I know exactly how hard it would have been for her to make it. Well, that doesn't mean that it's the right one. Penn was messed up. And even if he wasn't, she is too young to be taking this on. OK, Reeves, I'm not saying that it's ideal, but plenty of people felt the same way when they found out I was pregnant. So what am I supposed to do? Look her in the eye and lie about how happy I am for her? You could try putting your friend's feelings before your own. But, like, you put Angelo's feelings before your own? Oh, Ruby, you know, you can just be so black and white sometimes. Okay, things aren't always that simple. That's just an excuse. 
No, it's not. You know, having you come into my life proved to me that I can't predict a thing. And the proof of that is that I love you more than I could have ever thought possible. So if you care about Nicole, then you should do everything you can to make sure that she feels the same way about her own baby. Ruby, hey. Hi. Just thought I'd pop in, say hi. It's good to see you. Yeah. I've missed our chats. Yeah, me too. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about the way the breakup happened. You know, I wanted to talk to you and explain, but you dad got sick and everything just moved so fast. Yeah, Angela, you don't need to apologize. I'm on your side. I never understand why Charlie had to break up with you. Well, she wasn't the one that ended the relationship, Ruby. Really. It was me. She hasn't told you anything, has she? I just figured she freaked out about the whole commitment thing again. How did I not know you were having so much trouble? He wanted to protect you. <sighs> I really wish people would stop doing that. There were lots of things wrong. And it breaks my heart that we couldn't work them out. Well, can you at least try? We did. We talked and we talked, but in the end, Everything was the same. But we were a family. How is it not worth fighting for? Ruby, relationships aren't always that simple. Life isn't always that simple. 